Hello, my name is Dirk. I'm a trainer at Layer for Europe and I want to introduce the new iUnify plugin for Milestone. To use the plugin, create a one-by-one -one view in the Xprotect Smart Client. There's a wall selector on the bottom with a list of all walls managed by iUnify. We have a couple of walls here in our showroom and the two that you see in the camera pip is the TVF and the TWS. On the top we have three tabs. The Layout tab provides a list of all layouts available in iUnify. The Windows tab shows the layout of the currently selected wall and provides a list of all available sources. And the Send Command tab lists commands for external devices controlled by iUnify. Let's have a closer look to the Layout tab. To open a layout on the TWS, for example, select it in the Wall Selector. To show a layout on the wall, simply click on an item in the Layout list. To change the content of a source window, switch to the Windows tab. There's a grey rectangle with a source name for each open window on the wall. To change the content of one of those windows, select an item on the source lift on the left and then click on the window which content you want to change. In a Unify, we can also provide template layouts with empty windows. Template layouts guarantee a fixed window arrangement. The milestone operator can then assign sources to each window. Currently, the source list shows only sources which are available on the NetPix. There are no cameras that are available in Milestone. And unfortunately, we are also not able to drag a camera source from the Milestone sources list to the wall. To have the Milestone sources available in the iUnify source list, we need to integrate those sources into iUnify. So we need to make a connection between iUnify and the Milestone server. The iUnify web interface, iUnify Control, has a new menu item in the Setup section, which is Milestone Server. To add a Milestone Server, just enter a name for the server, IP address and authentication type with username and password if needed. Once this is done, click on Sync Sources to synchronize Milestone Sources with iUnify. In this case, three new cameras have been added to iUnify. This process also creates a new source category with the name of the Milestone server. It also imports the camera group. Now we can use the Milestone source as any source that we have configured in the NetPix or in iUnify. Here I create a new source window on the TVF. The advantage of using Milestone sources is that we do not have to configure them again. We use the server as a kind of proxy. The source streams are decoded by the Milestone player integrated in iUnify. The Milestone player is based on the Milestone SDK. So from iUnify's point of view, each Milestone source is from the same type and treated in the same way. We do not need to know any details about the camera device, such as IP address, authentication, or streaming protocol. This is all covered by the Milestone server. And the Milestone server offers us the same type of stream for each camera device. So finally, we have a huge number of sources available in a Unify just by integrating the Milestone server and click the Sync Sources button. Now let's see what consequences this step has for the Milestone plugin. To make the source list available in the iUnify plugin, the source list has to be reloaded. Now we see three additional sources. The group name is taken from the camera group of the Milestone server. Once these sources are available in the iUnify source list, the Milestone operator can use them to replace the content of a source window. 
So here I changed the stream from the top right window of the TWS. The main benefit of using this plugin for the milestone operator is that there's no need to switch to a Unify control to operate the wall. Only the IUnify administrator gets in touch with a Unify control to set up the whole system, to configure the sources, to configure layouts and to set user restrictions. So this is all done by the IUnify administrator and the milestone operator just uses this plugin and can do the whole operation of the wall and have the whole control of all sources and layouts. So in this case, we do not need extra training for the operators for a Unify. They're just using and get in touch with the Milestone plugin. In addition to that, the Milestone operator has full access to NetPeak sources such as HDMI or DisplayPort inputs or desktops which are shared by a Unify Cast or RDP. Yeah, that's all for now. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.